before we can create our configuration file, we need to create our database. To do that, we're going to go into WAMP, and we're going to launch phpMyAdmin, which will let us control and create databases. We're going to click on the Database tab at the top, and we're going to create a database, and I'm simply going to call it WordPress. And then I'm going to hit Create. You can see here that the WordPress database now exists. Once we've done that, then we can create our configuration file. We're going to need the database name, which we just created, the database username, which is root, database password, which is empty, the database host, which is localhost, and the table prefix. So let's go. The database name is WordPress. That is actually what I named it. The username is, and this is one that we're going to create for ourselves, so I'm going to make mine Mary. It should not be admin. My password will be blank for right now because this is on my local machine. I'm not worried about it. My database host is localhost, and my table prefix is WP. And so I'm going to hit... Oh, this is my SQL username. That's not Mary. We want that to be root. And hit Submit. Okay, that looks good. It says, all right, Sparky, you've made it through this part of the installation. WordPress can now communicate with your database. Now we run the install. It's going to want the site title. And we'll change this later. Username. This is the one that I wanted. Even if you didn't set up your email before, do put in your email settings here. And it doesn't really matter on here on allow search engines to index the site because they shouldn't be searching your local drive. So we're going to leave it alone. It doesn't really matter. And that's it. WordPress has been installed. We're ready to get working.